God bless you. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching our fast devotional. My name is Josh Negron. I have the privilege of being one of the discipleship leaders here at the Way World Outreach. I want to tell you about a time in uh, my life personally where uh, fasting, we, me and my wife, we were fasting and we actually received a breakthrough. It was right around the end of 2022. My wife and I, we were in a season of transition. We were really believing God for something big. We were believing God for a house. You know, my wife and I, we're just celebrating five years of marriage. We have two beautiful children and our space was getting really, really tight. Um, it was a small little apartment and we just knew that God had so much more for us. And so I remember it was the end of 2022. My wife and I were working on our goals, we're working on vision. And my wife has this vision board and she ends up cutting out a picture of this house that we were looking at. And I remember the first time seeing this picture on her vision board, my heart dropped. I said, babe, what are you doing? She said, I am believing God for big this next year. And she actually said that she said, babe, we need to go on a fast and we need to pray and we need to believe God that he's going to release this house to us. And so I remember we entered into a fast. We were praying, we were fasting, we were believing God for big. And to make a long story short, we got the house. It's 2024 now. We're currently living in that house. And God has to get all the honor and all the glory when I say this. We got the house. There was no credit check, uh, no pay stubs check. God's favor was literally on that house. It was truly, truly a miracle. It was a blessing. And so I want to read this portion of scripture with you. It's found in ch uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 14 through 21. And this is going to be our portion of scripture for this devotional today. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 14 through 21, it reads this. If you forgive those who sin against you, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you refuse to forgive others, your Father will not forgive your sins. And when you fast, don't make it obvious as the hypocrites do. For they try to look miserable and disheveled so people will, will admire them for their fasting. I tell you the truth, that is the only reward they will ever get. But when you fast, comb your hair and wash your face, then no one will notice that you are fasting except your father who knows what you do in private and your father who sees everything will reward you. In verse 19, don't store up treasures here on earth where moths eat them and rust destroys them. And where thieves break in and steal, store your treasures in heaven where moths and rust cannot destroy and thieves do not break in and steal. Wherever your treasure is, there the desires of your heart will be also. I really want to focus. I said a lot right now, but I want to focus on verse 18. Jesus says this. He says, then no one will notice that you are fasting except your father who knows what you do in private and your father who sees everything will reward you. Right now we're stepping into a season of fasting and I want to dare you to believe God for something big. I want to dare you to believe that he is a rewarder for those who diligently seek him. And I know this in this fast, it's not really so much about getting God's attention because notice in verse 18, Jesus said, and your father who sees everything, he sees us. He's watching you. The Bible says that he knows what we need even before we ask, right? And so he watches us, he sees us, but check this out. He says, and, and your father who sees everything will reward you. There is a reward for fasting. And so this is my one point for you. And this is it. Fasting shows God that we are serious about standing on his promises. When we fast, it's not that we're trying to get God's attention because he sees us. When we fast, we're showing God that we are serious about what he has promised in our life. I pray that this devotional has blessed you. I pray that you, uh, your faith would grow and I pray that you would enjoy this time of fasting. And don't forget, during this fast, believe God for something big. I love you. God bless you.